Yeah, I, I think it's incredibly attractive to want to uncover lost ancient knowledge. I mean, do you, do you know how many millions of people are searching? And most of it is fruitless. Most of the stuff is just kind of not so relevant, shall we say. Um, but what's amazing about this video and the, and the video before, I think that, like, you know, let's just assume that, like, I mean, I maybe think the whole thing is quite ancient, but let's just assume Brashi is pretty old. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty old, right? It goes back maybe 3,000 years, maybe more. You know, I think what stands on covering it, and I think it would take someone, this is exactly the right time in history, uh, where, where someone and Stan would be have the technological and kind of mindset capability to understand something that was embedded in an ancient religious text. And I think what he's exposing here is, you know, if you just think that this is a religious text and it's just do what you're told or you're going to hell, you're missing the whole point. Like there's something here that's been encoded and passed down from the ancient world. And it's extremely, extremely important. And um, it is, you know, uh, entirely universal what's underneath it. And I think that that's the, the very attractive part about this, just to say it explicitly. Stan has, Stan Tenen and Mayor Foundation has uncovered something universal that made it through all the cataclysms from the ancient world into the very modern place we find ourselves in. And to me, that is <laughs> completely astounding because, and, and I think that what he wanted was like, forget the religious aspects of it. Let's look at like what's actually going on here. You know, what are the implications of what is here mathematically and what's here in, in geometrically and what can we take out of it? And so I think it's 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 in, if you look at it that way, it's astounding. It's a, it's a it's like a treasure chest what he's opening up here. And and but to get to it, you have to drop your cultural and uh, your cultural and social biases. Mm -hmm. That's like the flaming sword in the Garden of Eden. You know, if you want to get to the good stuff, the mysterious stuff, the stuff that's really hidden there, that's real you know like an actual mis mis mystery that's starting to be solved from the ancient world you have to drop the intellectualism you have to drop the spiritualism you have to drop the religious dogma but you have to drop all that and look at what's actually there and especially drop the ego yeah we, precisely yeah 